、うん、親の血を引く兄弟よりも硬い地理の義兄弟こんな小さな杯だけど男命をかけて飲むありがとうございます。Tomas Lips, who is the director of the foundation, was a friend of mine for some 20 years. And、uh, he came to me with the idea of doing a winter symposium in Ventura, like the weather here. He'd been approached by some people in Palm Springs, and he went and checked out the site, and he just didn't see his tribe in Palm Springs. He thought Ventura would be a much better fit. Yeah, I, I work as a facilitator.、Um, An empowering part of a producer of events in the visual arts community. So, this was, and then I'm a stone carver and I'm focused on stone. I deal with stone by the dozens of semi loads a year. So, this was dozens of semi loads in four days with the recipe kind of evolving daily with a lot of unknowns. And anybody who works with coordinating that kind of number. Of pieces of equipment and people, truckers, crane operators,、uh, schedules that you find out about in the morning, know how many things can go wrong. So, for this project to work, everything had to go right. And that, that was one of the most satisfying parts of the project. They all did go right.、And、it's not that we didn't have d e f l u g a l i e s and small things come up, but they were never found insurmountable. I mean, we, at the end, I think we could have found another 500 tons of stone if we had to. I actually had some doubts from the beginning that we could pull it off altogether, that, you know, that we could get the permits, that we could get the engineering, the soils test,、um, that we could get all the people here, that we could get the right weather. You know, January,、um, we needed 10 days of good weather for them to be able to work. And that we would get the right combination of volunteers because this, this stone symposium, you, there's no guarantee none of these people were paid. So we had no idea how many would show up. So the fact that these people came from all over, volunteered their time for 10 days, and that the stone, which we hadn't picked out the stone, the stone was coming from the quarry in Ojai, and that was all dependent on、um, the, the quarry owner. Finding the right stone in his quarry to be able to bring us for free. you know, So there were you know, 50 elements that needed to come together to make it work, and they did. It seemed like everything I could bring to bear on the project turned to gold. We approached the quarrymen, and the quarrymen said, Yes, I'll donate the stone. We got the stone the job, the job was dead in the water.、We、talked to the conservancy people, and then they said, Boy, this sounds really exciting. We'll get behind it. 100%. And indeed, the board members who did, not, it wasn't a unanimous decision, did get behind it. They were extremely generous. And moreover, with a positivism and a can do it i v i s m approach, they helped a lot make it happen.、Um, we went to the city, we had to get a permit to do this project. And the city made it as Accessible the process as possible, and even though we hit each of our deadlines within the day of running out of time, the job moved ahead. We,、um, we built two ramparts, two、uh, Japanese castle walls, and、uh, we were supposed to take about 10 days. We ended up、uh, pretty much wrapping it up in eight and a half days or so. This Particular project was the most ancient method, and they used unshaped blocks.、Uh, Work the stone very little. They'll split it out. The Japanese are very good at splitting out stone,、uh, and they've taught us their methods. Uh, uh, but uh, they don't really shape the stones 
so which way they put them in the wall. They like the character, like the, like the character. We brought three uh, master stonemasons from Japan, and uh, the word got around in Japan that this was happening, and a couple of other uh, masons and a sculptor just came on and volunteered to come on their own. But the master is a 15th generation stonemason, both he and his father, 14th generation stonemason, came. Uh, uh, but it was mainly the son who worked um, and uh, controlled the building, uh, placed all the stones, the large stones. These fellows were of such a caliber of, of listening to stone, they even said they listened to stone. When they arrived from the automobile, the airplane, the train ride, and the automobile up to the hill in their street shoes after that trip from Japan, they walked up to the site, didn't introduce themselves or meet any people yet, and started walking around on the rocks, the first 200 tons that had been brought to the job site. And that was so they could figure out how to do this thing. And the Japanese master did, through an interpreter, explain that he was listening to the stones. In fact, that was his job. So in, a, in the richest sense, they were almost animists. And uh, the form of paganism that I can most relate to, they were you know, uh, people who spoke my language. And, and the language, as it turned out, of all of the participants in this project, I, I think without an exception, there were people there who could talk about, be around, and work on stone all day long, every day for the rest of their lives. あの、みんなそれぞれ、あの、僕だけじゃなく、周りのワークショップで一緒に働いてくれた人もみんな苦労して出来上がったものなので、the type of work they do in Japan is amazing to me. It's all, uh, it's called gravity walls, where they don't use any mortar, and the way they, they pretty much, you know, slice the stone and stack it so that it will sit on, and it will hold together by gravity. And it will stay that way, you know, on, in the castles they build in Japan, They've been there for 1,000 years, 1,500 years. And these people are using the same technique that they've used through all those generations. Stone starts out uh, at, uh, at low angles. They say it's showing its face to the sky. And then the, as you, the angle becomes steeper in the middle part of the wall. And then finally on the top of the wall, it's almost straight, but never straight. You don't build plumb, uh, walls that are plumb. At least uh, in a building, you structure something like this, you don't build it plumb. But our retaining walls, such like that, if a wall is plumb, then that means it's almost out of plumb. And as soon as it's out of plumb, it becomes more out of plumb and it's on its way to collapse. Uh, Japanese tradition, unfortunately, is dying. This uh, stone wall uh, technique is not something that uh, necessarily is encouraged by the government. It's uh, honored somewhat, but it's not. It doesn't have a lot of. Um, uh, fundings or any any such thing, so it falls on uh, individuals that to, to try to keep this uh, going, and so one of the reasons they came out uh, to to United States and uh, for the first time actually uh, to do this was uh, in effect they wanted to uh, spread the knowledge, and uh, I was told uh, what by uh, one of the masters that say in 30 years time, 40 years time in Japan, let's say the tradition is dying or has gone away, he wants to be able to say, uh, however, it lives in the United States. Really, this was new to everybody, this stonework thing. There is no stonework tradition in Ventura. I mean, I'm close to a tradition and we're here 25 years, so that's hardly a tradition. So, the, the possibilities of what could happen and how much synchronicity took place to start the job 
won people over. And, and so I'm hoping that the documentation and the dozens of city people who came to observe the process will help them understand that what the Conservancy did in a, in a small gesture, they spent their entire budget, which was about $12,000 on this project, mostly spent on fuel for trucks to bring the rock down and fuel for pieces of equipment to handle the stone. No work fees, no this, no that. The foundation got those fees and, and holds its own projects together that way. They got a, arguably somewhere between million and a half to quarter million dollar project completed in eight days in, the, in, in these times for $12,000, you know. Uh, it, it's a template for how you could build any sort of program without having money. It's allow enthusiasm, channel it and allow enthusiasm and, as it turned out, a lot of competent people showed up to do this work. They're referred to variously as the rock knockers, which uh, is more towards the evening when you're knocking down some beers. In fact, the local brew pub made a beer called Rock Knockers Ale for this gathering, which was excellent. And uh, they are dry stone walling people, masons, people who generally are from a tradition that could go back not as far in their own work as the Japanese masters they were going to work under, but that's 14th and 15th generation. People focus substantially on the earth itself, hunks of rock, making them balance, stacking a good wall, the foundation of it all kind of thing. Real earthy, hard-working people. I've never seen a community this welcoming and this receptive. We have, uh, uh, we had, we were invited to the city hall and we were officially thanked. And um, and the, uh, I think it was the mayor or its mayor. She encouraged everybody to come up there and take a look at it. And and uh, and uh, she said, uh, and please, when you go up there, uh, you should go up there. And when you do go up there, uh, bring them food. She said. Which, uh, which was uh, very touching, actually. And actually, people did, uh, not even you know, needing the recognition. They would actually leave food, sandwiches, fruits, and water, and all sorts of things um, uh, by the entrance so to, for, us to, for us to eat. That was very touching. For these hardworking people, it was almost recreational. And, and it, you can say it was almost recreational. It, 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 it really was in the result. In the, in the completed project, the amount of uh, camaraderie and sense of well-being was like the, the kind of um, empowerment and fulfillment experience that you get from the best of experiences you remember in your life. This, for me, was like one of those kind of projects. You know, we have the stone ramparts that are Japanese style and the goal is to bring stone workers from all over the world and build different sorts of walls and arches and um, but use our local stone you know we get the stone from Ojai so it's very very local and very green because it didn't have to move very far and um, all the work well most of the work was hand work. We can start a new tradition we can do things that are very exciting we can attract other kinds of tradespeople to participate in a tradition that will be happening today, but will last thousands of years in our community. It will outlast most of what's being built. And so it's like creating things that have history already, but doing it in a brand new way in your town. That's what art's about.